Enigmatic E. Hey everyone, today Stable Diffusion 3 Medium was released and we have some workflows that we can start using now in Comfy UI. So I'm gonna teach you how to set that up really quick. I also wanna give a shout out to Sarah who helped me understand how all this works. It's really not that complicated if you use Comfy UI before. And if you haven't used Comfy UI, I do have a link above that you can click on where I teach you how to install it and how to get started with it. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna put the link to everything you need in the description, so just click on that and then you should be able to follow along right here. So first thing you have to do is make sure you have an account with Hug and Face. And before you're able to download anything, it's gonna ask you some information and you just fill out the form and then you're able to download the models. All right, so there are a few ways you can do this uh, when you downloaded these files. You can try to download this model, which is four gigabytes, and then you would have to download these other models right here, or you can just download this one model right here and you don't really have to download these right here. And I'll teach you how to do that right now. So let's, uh, let's just assume you wanna go with this one. You wanna use the workflow as it is. Um, you go ahead and download this model. You save it wherever you save your checkpoints. Then once you do that, you come here to text encoders. You download this clip G, clip L, and you download either this or this. You save it into your comfy UI models and clip folder. That's one way to do it. And if you don't want to do that, you can just download this one right here. This SD3 medium include clips uh, T5 model. And once you save this to your checkpoint, uh, I'm going to teach you how to set it up in the workflow. So once you have your models downloaded, you want to come here to comfy example workflows. You're going to have three workflows here. Uh, just download all of them or one, whichever you want. And once you download that, we're gonna go into Comfy UI. And before we load the workflow, make sure you go to Manager and you update all. Once everything's updated and it restarts, then you're gonna load the workflow, which is what you're seeing right here. So once you're here in the workflow, you're going to look for your models. If you wanna run it as it is right now, and if you've downloaded the regular SD3 model and the Clip G, Clip L model, then you're just gonna type in SD3 and then medium dot save tensors. And then you're going to, yeah, put the clip G, clip L, and then whatever it is that you downloaded for this one. And then you should be able to run it as it is, okay? So we're gonna run it just with the default prompts that you're seeing here. And there we have our image. So now the great thing about this, and since we have here this T5 model, we can start putting things in, like things that would include something like a text bubble, right? So let's say a ninja with a text bubble above him that says, get over here, okay? There you go. So <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look so nice, but uh, you get the idea, right, what it does. Yeah, you can do that. Um, let's say now you don't wanna have this set up. Let's say you just downloaded this model, which is 10 gigabytes. You can actually remove the conditioning of these and you can put this negative conditioning right into negative, straight to it. And instead of having this node going into the prompts, we wanna go straight from clip up here, like we normally do, like this. And you can actually just delete these if you want, right? And so if you try to run it as is, you're gonna get an error. Uh, so this is where you have to put in the SD three medium including clips so once you do that you can just run it as is and then it's going to run and it's going to do what you need it to do and it, it looks even better in my opinion so yeah it's pretty much the standard of how to use sd3 medium in, inside of comfy there are a few things i should mention so this is the license agreement for std3 it's free if you're not gonna have any commercial use for it. It says ideal for individual developers or researchers. If you do wanna use it commercially, then you can pay $20 per month and then uh, you get the commercial license, limited commercial license, and then there's the custom pricing, which I guess you gotta contact them and talk to them about it. This is ideal for like companies and stuff like that. If you come down here to, is SD3 medium included in the creator license? Uh, this is something you should be aware of if you are paying for it. The number of images generated is limited to 6,000 per month. So there is a limit to this when you're trying to use it to make money. 
So that's where we're at with ST3 Medium at the moment. And I'm sure right now a lot of people are developing workflows to make it better, to try to make it better for image to image, and I'm sure other ways as well. So let's see what happens for now. This is where we're at. So the image quality to me looks really good and the text, you know, looks amazing. The fact that you can add text to this, it looks, it's very cool. I'm not sure what the whole licensing thing, um, what's gonna happen with more customized models when it comes to this. I mean, we'll see what happens. I, I wanna test if it knows like actual characters. So let me see if it like does like a Mickey Mouse. Wow, so it doesn't try to avoid copyrighted characters. Yeah, it looks really clean. So right now we just have the basic use of this and I'm hoping at some point we'll get some control net capabilities with this. But yeah, I mean, to me, it looks, the quality looks really good. Obviously the hands <laughs> still ugly looking, but uh, yeah, so go test it out for yourself and uh, till next time, take care.